Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Aspen channel. As you know that from previous two lectures, we are focusing on the topic of property package and method selection. And today it is our third video related to this topic. In the first lecture, we discussed what are the importances for property packages. In the second lecture, we have discussed the Eric Carlson recommendation for the selection of property package. And in today's course coverage, we will discuss the Bob Cedar's recommendation for the selection of the property package. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. So going to the Bob Cedar recommendation, there are three figures related to it. And the start point for us is this point. So first check is HC. HC means hydrocarbons. Now if it is a hydrocarbon or not, first we will go to the know that all hydrocarbons are not present. Then we will see whether it is E. E means electrolyte. If it is electrolytic system, then modified NRTL. If it is non-electrolytic system, the special system such as sore water, aqueous ion solution with CO2 and H2S. So these special property packages will be used for this system. Now, if these are hydrocarbons, then we will check whether light gases Lg are involved. If light gases are involved, then we will see the organic polar compound, which is PC. If these are involved, then we will use PSRK. Again, an extension of SRK method. And no, then we will, will have to see the figure number five. Well, these are hydrocarbons, but no light gases are present. We will check whether it is organic polar compound. If it is yes, we will go to figure six. If it is no, we will go to figure five. So for two cases, we have to go to figure five. The first case is that hydrocarbon, light gases, and no organic polar compound. For the second case, hydrocarbon, no light gases, and no polar compound. So we will go to figure five for this. While hydrocarbon, no light gases, but polar compounds are present, we will go to figure number six. So going to figure number five, we will check boiling point range of compound. If it is very wide, we will use LKP Lee Gasner blocker. And if it is narrow or wide, we will check the temperature region. And if it is cryogenic or non cryogenic. If it is non cryogenic, we will select SRK or PR. Again, an equation of state method. And if it is cryogenic, we will select the pressure region, whether it is critical or non critical. If it is critical, we will use PR, which is Pengrobinson. If it is non critical, we will use PR or another form of state. Now, going to figure number six, that polar compounds with hydrocarbons, we will use BI. We will check first the BIP, which is binary interaction parameters. If these are not available, we will use Unifac. If these are available, we will check the possible phase splitting. If it is yes, then we will use NRTL and Uniquac. If it is no, we will use the Wilson. So you can see that again there are different classifications and different parameters for the selection of different property package eric Carlson recommendation bob cedar recommendations both can be used to select the suitable property package in the system now there is another decision tree which is available and now we will go on that decision tree to select the property package. We will start, we will first check whether polar or hydrogen bonding is available or not. If it is available, we will check whether sore water is consisted of it or not. If it is yes, use sore water system. If no, then check whether it is an electrolytic system or electrolytes present. If yes, use electrolyte property package, which is electrolyte NRTL, just like the example. No, is experimental data available? If it is yes, check whether two liquid phases are involved. If no, use Wilson, NRTL or Uniquac. If yes, use NRTL or Uniquac. But then select the suitable model that gives best fit to the data. That is the first stream. Second stream is that the experiment data is not available. Then check whether the pressure is less than four bar temperature is less than 150 degrees centigrade. If it is yes, 
you can use unifact to estimate the binary interaction parameters and then you can check whether the two liquid phases are involved no yes accordingly the same sequence will be involved so this is the first part of this algorithm the second part is that polar or hydrogen bonding are not available then check whether it is hydrocarbon or lighter if it is hydrocarbon or lighter are involved then check whether hydrogen is present or not if hydrogen is present check the temperature is less than 250 if it is no then use pengrobinson or srk if yes use gs gray and street method coming to here and hydrogen is not present then check again the temperature greater than 250 select pengrobinson or rks less than 250 use bwr or lkb so this is the second stream for it going to the third part no hydrocarbon or lighter then check hydrogen present if yes use gs if no then check whether the certain temperature range which is between 0 to 750 kelvin if yes then check whether the pressure is less than 200 bar if the pressure is less than 200 bar use grayson street or pengrobinson if no it means that the temperature is not in this range and the pressure is not less than 200 bar then check whether the pressure is less than 350 bar if yes use rks method if no you need more experimental data and in the same case here that if the pressure is less than 4 bar and temperature is less than 150 degrees centigrade if this condition is not met so for these two conditions we need more experimental data so you once you go one by one this was the first stream this was the second stream this one and this is the third stream so there are three streams involved in it and using these three streams, Eric Carlson created three figures and the three figures in Bob Cedar. So this is an overall decision tree and you can use Eric Carlson, Bob Cedar and this decision tree to select your suitable property package for a certain application. There is another way of doing it is to use Espen method assistant and that method assistant usually works on two principles by component type by using the component type actually and by process type but we will discuss it in our upcoming lecture so i hope you have understood all the aspects of the, this lecture if you have any query feedback suggestion please provide it in the comment box and i would be happy to answer it so that's it from today's lecture thank you so much please do watch like share the video and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel till then it's goodbye stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel